Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jaro on your screen with a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to refresh old knotless braids. I've carried my braids for so long and it just needs a little revamping. So I'm going to be revamping slash refreshing my old knotless braids. If you have old braids, you can apply this method to also refresh yours anytime, any day. And again, I want to apologize for the cracked voice. I've been down on a flu, cold in general, so that's why I sound kind of cracky. But anyhow, um, I'm going to be showing you how to refresh old box braids, old knotless braids. For me, I'm carrying a knotless braids, but this procedure is similar to when you're carrying box braids. So if you're new to my channel, you're most definitely welcome. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the post notification bell right beside the subscribe icon. And please do well to give this video a big thumbs up both to my old and new subscribers. Always give my video a big thumbs up. It encourages me and it also helps with the analytic. If YouTube gets to know that people are enjoying this particular content, they put it on their home page. So that is why it is important for you to always give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to comment below because I love reading all your comments and without much ado let's get right into this video so guys like I earlier said I have had this braid for a month plus almost two months during the course of having this braid for so long I have washed the braids twice all right I washed it with just water focusing on the root so at this moment my braids are not dirty but I will still you know employ a bit of cleaning before we start styling the hair so I'm going to go ahead and clean with water this is just water and a cotton swab I don't like I said my braids have been washed twice and I just want to clean just any little build up that might have occurred and during the course of wearing these braids I've tried not to focus on you know laying down my baby hair with edge control with gel those are products that actually cause build up in our braids so I can't remember when last I used the edge control and even if I do I just focus it down here and when I'm in the shower having my bath I focus on washing just this place I have the edge control I have not dragged the edge control into my hair so my braids are pretty much fresh and clean but I'm still going to you know soak this cutting wool in water and still clean my braids a little bit if your hair is totally clean then you don't have to do this step so this wool is damp and I'm going to clean my braids a little and focus in here So I'm not cleaning the entire braids that's because I am not refreshing the entire braids I'm going to refresh just the front row the first lines the first two lines in front and where the pattern occurred I'm not doing much so I don't have to clean the entire braids This is the dirt on the cotton wool. Like I said, my braids are not dirty. I've washed them. So yeah, um, I like I said, I am going to clean 
and refresh just the two front rows and that's why I'm bringing it to the front so I'll know what I'm working in I'm putting the rest of the hair away from my workspace yeah so that's what I'm basically doing and I've cleaned this part of the braids and I'm going to clean this part and then we proceed And guys, within the course of having this hair installed, I've realized a lot of growth. Can you see? Can you see the growth? All of this is growth. The hair has grown so much. This is where the braids are. And this is my growth. So the growths are... Huh, I, I, I was screaming for. And I'm so, so happy about my growths. And so happy that I've been able to carry this hair for quite a while. And the first thing I do before applying any other thing to my hair is to spritz it with water because these braids tend to freeze. My hair tends to freeze in the braids. All right. My hair is always oily. I realize, but whenever I have braids installed, it dries out so quick. So it always has to be moisturized. If not, I'll be losing a lot of hair. As you guys can see, I've lost a bit hair here, a bit over here. Okay, my edges are very, very thin and very fragile. So it easily breaks and that is not what I love. So this, the next method is to moisturize the hair. The moisture will help it take in the products to be applied and also protect your hair even while taking in those products. So going to moisturize all this area so I'm not using my nails to rub it I'm using my palm just here because I have a nail so I don't want to you know cause any wahala to my scalp if you get what I mean making sure the water is penetrating yes guys there we have it my hair my hair is totally damp like the root of my hair not the braids don't try to soak the braids okay just focus on the roots of your hair where you have the growth where you have the new growth because that's where we're trying to you know revamp so it looks all fresh and new okay if you get what I'm saying so guys the next thing I have is my leave-in treatment this is a leave-in conditioner and it contains shea butter and coconut oil it's going to make your braids soft and you know very tender it's going to make the root of your hair soft and tender and that's what we want so I'll be taking a good amount of that And rubbing it into my palm and applying it on the area yeah and that is not the bus stop I'm going to be locking in the moisture with my argan oil hair treatment also a combination of moroccan oil so this is my argan oil yeah so i'm going to be taking it taking a bit of it and also applying it into the hair and like i said my hair always dries up whenever i have braids so i need to be applying oil to keep it moisturized So, all I want to do is just 
twist this hair to one side and I'm going to let this product sit in the hair I'm going to tie the scarf over it and let the product sit in the hair for a while then I'll be right back so guys I've been able to do this side of my hair and as well this side of my hair forget the white residues it will entirely disappear so I just saved this front portion so that you guys can see what I actually did I did the side of camera just to speed up the process so I have how many strands I have four four of each side okay so I'm going to show you what I actually did with the hair all right so I have my Kaima hair wax. I have a hair wax. You can use any hair gel or hair wax of your choice. As long as it has a good hold on your hair, it will work well. So this is what I have and I'm going to take a bit of it and work in portions. I'm working in portions. I'll conclude on the back rows before going to the front. So this is what I do basically. So I take gel I focus it down there and I start to twist I'm making sure not to pick hair from any of this surrounding braids so as I'm walking I'm moving in my hands now you have to have a good grip and try as much as possible not to tie too hard and when I'm done with that I take it to the back and kind of you know just secure it together with the rest of the ponytail going on at the back and here is another strand I put gel overly and then I first of all sweep it into my hair and then start twisting when I'm sure the product is evenly distributed into my hair I start twisting I'm trying not to grip too hard as this could actually cause harm to your hair maybe rip it off and we are not trying to rip our hair off so I'm going to be careful with that and yeah I really love how clean this part of my hair looks you can't tell that this are old braids you can't so here is taking more product and I'm starting here so I start twisting 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 then I touch it to the pony at the back and we have the next strand pick that as well and go back in this is where the parting is yeah so I've been able to separate that a bit I bet you, you can tell that these are old braids can you see how my hair is looking gosh yeah so more yeah so I just include that that's walking the product into my hair and twist 
because I'm a lefty I tend to twist to the left side okay so in case you notice that I'm left-handed so I twist to the left side of my hair and that is all done we are all done with that and like I said I've secured all to the back of my hair and to the pony and the major place for cause the major concentration is not the body of the hair it is the root of the hair that is our concentration okay so now this is all clean I really I'm really feeling this guys let me know if you are feeling this as well this is just something extra I don't want to do much just something extra not necessary because the hair looks pretty good pretty well refreshed it looks pretty well refreshed so this one is not very necessary so how do you see this how do you see these braids tell me how do you see these braids so the next thing for this style to let this whole thing sleep and we'll be right back to show you what the hair looks like i'm going to be setting it with my nova gold Star system professional styling mousse sorry that's a long one it's a styling mousse so i'm just going to put this whoa it's everywhere gosh it's a lot i don't need much so i'm just going to put the styling mousse on my hair so i'm still going to go ahead and secure it with my scarf you need to be securing this a lot so that it can sleep properly and I'll quickly go and do my makeup my face bit and I'll get back to you guys and we'll reveal my new braids together so don't go anywhere keep on watching it's time for the big review uh, yeah it's time for the big review
super duper fresh it looks so new so clean like i just had them installed right now can you see that can you see the neatness in the braids how clean that is how easy it is that is how easy it is to refresh your own knotless braids and just you know, combing the side brushing the side and the back because i didn't touch there but guys can you see how this looks can you see how beautiful this is screaming this is gorgeous look at that look at look at the cleanness look at so fresh and you can tell that these braids are almost two months you can tell <laughs> so we've gotten to the end of this video this is how i managed to refresh my old box braids slash knotless braids anytime and day this is so effortless doing this whole procedure took me 30 minutes because i had to tie down the hair for a while and all that and we tied down the hair twice so it is enough if you're not tying down the hair and you're not going through the whole procedure i went through this style just takes you less than 10 minutes and you've got your not less braids or refreshed brand new and really really clean no one can tell that these braids are almost two months old because the front is looking very refreshed and clean and soft do you see that i really really love doing this especially when my braids are old and i hope you learned something from this video you can as well do this in your house without having to call a professional this style this procedure is very easy i'm not a stylist i'm not a professional but i can manage my hair myself so i thought i share this tutorial with you to show you how to refresh your old boss braids so that you can always manage it yourself without having to pay extra coin provided you have all the supplies needed for this you can pull this too by yourself at home yeah so basically that's all i wanted to talk about in this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel below and do not forget to turn on that post notification bell beside the subscribe icon so you do not miss out on when i upload new videos and don't forget to comment if this if this is what you love let me know in the comment section i wish you all the love in the world and i'll see you very very soon bye bye Take care.